What's up? What's going on, Greg? <laughs> That's awesome. So, word. What's going on? That's an interesting look at Axe you got there. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Right, Warrior Guitars. And you people are going to subscribe. All right? Please do. We need you to do that. We do. And uh, it's right there. It's easy enough. You just click away. And you're in, and you get notified. Click the little what is that? A little bell the little notification. Bell icon, yeah, click and you'll that. Get notification. And you get notified, and you come back and see us some more. So, tell us about this warrior. Well, before I tell you about the warrior, oh, uh, yeah. let's let's do All some right, coffee. Yeah, I hear you. I know it's uh, part of our tradition here. Cheers. Switching gear. It's perfect time to subscribe. Exactly. That's a good cup of coffee too. It's hot. Yeah. Nice. Nice. What do we got today on the coffee? All right. <clears throat> this is um is that the uh, Zach Wild? No, it's not. Oh. It's actually called Kicking Horse oh, nice. Coffee Company. And the actual brand of coffee is called uh Kick Ass. Oh nice. Yeah. It does kick I've been ass. using it for <laughs> at least a year or two yeah. and it's it's awesome. Awesome. Cool. Fresh grind before each cup. You gotta do it. Go. You gotta grind your own beans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, exactly. we're here to talk about guitar we're talking about coffee. beans. <laughs> All right. So this is really cool looking. Yeah. So this is a, a Warrior Guitars uh, signature is the model. It's a Warrior signature. Warrior Guitars is a brand. It's a small company. Uh, they're based out of Georgia. Right. And um, they do a lot of work with um, basses. They do a lot of high-end bass guitars. And they also do um, a line of electric guitars as sure. well. Um, tell you a quick story and how I learned about this company. Uh, somewhere around the year 2000 or so, I was up in Poughkeepsie, New York, and okay. uh, we just happened to pass by a music store. So I said, "Hey, let me take a you know a walk inside, sure, and see what's going around." Yeah. And I see this guitar, not this guitar, but a Warrior guitar. I think it was this model. Um, it looked similar to this, hanging up on the wall, and uh, it just it caught my eye. I was like, sure, "Wow, what yeah. the heck is that? I've never yeah, seen yeah. anything like that." And um, I picked it up, and it played amazing. And uh, unfortunately, I, it wasn't in my budget at the time, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't purchase it. But it was brand new, it, hanging on the wall. I think oh, it was yeah. brand new, yeah. hanging on the wall. And uh, but you know, I, of course, at the you know at that time, I looked up the brand. I'm like, what is this? I never heard of this. You're not going to pay top brand. dollar for a brand you didn't hear, had never heard of at the well, time, right? Well, maybe you know. I mean, it, it you know, I had a research. I would have yeah. personally, I would have been like, all right, I'm spending What's that kind of money. This? Exactly. Let me make sure it's you know not, exactly. Yeah, so looks... I did some research, and um, you know. And I kept going back every, every year or so. I would take a look at their website. What you know, what's new? What are they sure? doing? Yeah. And um, what I've learned is the company started somewhere in the early '90s, around '94 mm -hmm. or so. Um, and they they've stayed relatively small in the guitar world. Um, I think they have a presence at NAM annually and all and oh, yeah? all that. But um, but yeah, and and I think um, Rick Derringer is one of their artists. You know, Rick nice. Derringer yeah, yeah, is, sure, right? sure. from the '70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's one of their signature artists. Uh, and they, they endorse a, a bunch of uh, popular bassists as well. Um, if you check out their website, warriorinstruments.com. Um, the detail's amazing. Yeah. It really and, is and, beautiful. And with all of their instruments, it's really all about the detail. Yeah. Um, so not only is this, you know, a nice playing or looking guitar aesthetically yeah. from mm -hmm. a distance, but if you really get up close and you look at the beveling it, on the, the top. It, that's what's amazing. The contours, you know, you it the finish is great. I mean, let's let's face it; it's beautiful. But when you really get appreciation, when you're looking up close, you see all the contours and all the bevels in it. It's really, really right. well and, done. Right, and I don't know if you're going to catch that in the camera. Yeah, it's very cool. But you can get an idea. You know, it, it's sort of an arch top, but it's the yep. bevels in it are, are really, really outstanding. And this is a spalted maple top, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, and it's a mahogany body, and you have a mahogany neck with a purple heart stripe through the neck. Nice. As well, and it's an ebony fingerboard. You have block inlays, and if you take a look at the, yeah, you know the, the custom work they do. The, in the details, inlays, the detail, uh, amazing. And they have some incredible. And this is their their Warrior signature model. They have several models, and uh, some of them are, are more extravagant than, than mm -hmm. the next, yeah, with yeah. the level of detail and craftsmanship that goes in there. Even look at the knobs. The knobs are they're wood crafted yeah, they're, they're out made, of yeah, it's cool out of the same top. Yep, uh -huh. you know, which is pretty amazing, and even. The little cap that goes on the selector switch is, is wood as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, this guitar came stock with, um, oh, before we get into the pickups, it also has your favorite yep. feature. I saw that before. Right? Like, it's one of the first things I look for. Proximity isn't terrible because your your hand's over here, mm -hmm. so the volume knob probably isn't an issue. And the truss rod adjustment there is, for me, is, that that hits on two of my key elements right exactly. there. Exactly. For sure. And... Um, yeah. 
this guitar, it came with, uh, you know, stock Warrior wound pickups, Warrior model pickups. Um, I wasn't a fan of, of the, the bridge pick pickup. Would you put a tones on it? Uh, no, I, I didn't. <laughs> I, actually, the guitar itself to me sounded very warm, uh, too warm. In okay. fact, and, and a tone zone has a lot of that bottom end, yep, so if yep. your guitar is so bright, tone zone does a yeah. difference. Um, so I did some research, and I put a DiMarzio deactivator in here. Okay. And uh, a DiMarzio deactivator is supposed to sort of emulate an active pickup without being active. So oh, okay. it's still passive, it's still a magnetic yep. pickup, um, but it's supposed to emulate that sort of tone and feel, and active pickups typically sound brighter. Yeah, Right. sure. And it seemed to do the trick in this, in this guitar. It has... Um, you know, a lot of output, which is nice. I, I like hotter output yep, pickups yep, personally. Me too. Me too. Um, and it brightened it up a bit. And know. the the uh, neck pickup is the stock, it looks is, like? Is the yep. stock. It's got the yep, Warrior logo that. on that. Sure. And, uh, you know, this is a string through. Obviously, there's there's no tremolo on this. Mm -hmm. And even they just look small touches. Even the back plate yeah, the is warrior, metal. It's metal and it's got the cool... You can uh, hear it. Yeah. Yep. You know, and it's got the Warrior logo etched out. Um, neck through. It's neck through. It, yeah, it, it, it is. It's sort of like slotted in yep. the neck. Mm -hmm. um, you can see there's two pieces of mahogany on the back. And um, it's not particularly heavy, is it? It's not particularly heavy. Um, interestingly, though, the neck shape is actually on the larger size. So it's not only is it a wider neck. I would, If I had to guess, I'd say this is a 16 radius. Uh, I don't know the exact spec on it, but it feels like a 16. It's very it's flat, flat to yeah, me. Yeah. Looks um, it. So it's it's a wide neck and mm -hmm. it's slightly chunky in the back. But interestingly, if you look, um, I don't know if you could pick this up on the camera, but it contours so it gets narrower down here towards the higher frets. Sure. So as your thumb, you know, travels down the neck, yeah, yeah. It, it it doesn't stay chunky. So it's yep. chunky up here, which for is cords, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then it flattens out as you yeah. you come down here, which is you know I thought was kind of cool. Interesting. And it's it's got a cool tone to it. Oh, and, uh, yeah, so let me just play some basic rhythm. Yeah, so it's nice. big, it's yeah, chunky, yeah. it's articulate, yep, it's yeah. bright. <laughs> Noticing that a little sword is that an upside down sword for the it's a sword marker? it is <laughs> that's cool. and that's their logo yeah, it's the logo yeah that's great you know you could see that on the yep, headstock yep. as well that's cool which sounds the, the logo is all inlaid as well yeah. yep yep you can see that that's awesome yeah so why don't you check it yeah, out let me check it out you grab this one to paul reed right. Uh, all right <laughs> lick that shouldn't be in drop D. In drop right, D, right. It's like, I just did that before, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, it's in drop it D. It really is a comfortable guitar. I'm shocked because it is definitely a fat neck, but you can feel it thin out as you come up high. But I always talk about how I like thinner necks and I like the flat radius. So it's cool that it's flat and it's cool that it thins out up here because I don't really mind a fatter neck right. playing chords. Right. So it kind of hits best of both worlds. Exactly. Here. Exactly. To coin a, a Van Halen tune. Very responsive too. Right. It's actually it's pretty. It's a sick guitar. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. And it's right? super light. It is light. Now that I'm feeling it, if that really is mahogany in the back, maybe that's because it's so thin. Maybe that's it's why a, it's, it's all beveled and contoured. They're taking yeah. some of the chunk out. Yeah. And it is super light. Like I could really dig on just playing this live and not feeling like ugh. exactly like if you play a Les Paul live and you know right. you need shoulder surgery right <laughs> after a two hour kick <laughs> but no this sounds great let's hear um let's hear the Paul Reed compared to it I'll, I'll... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
They that sound sounds similar. great, but they sound pretty similar. They sound close. Hopefully it comes like across that on I the I actually camera. think this guitar has a little bit more spring, uh, spring, <laughs> string note separation. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're hitting that chord, then this guitar yep. does. And I yeah. love the way this guitar yeah. sounds, too. Well, that's, that's a classic. That's yeah. like, that's the Joe classic guitar right there. That's, you know, what Eddie Van Halen stripes is, that's <laughs> Joe to that guitar. <laughs> so, but... Um, I don't know if I want to compare them because that's not the point of this. We're not comparing a Paul Reed to right, the Warrior. Right. I just wanted to feel this, and I got to tell you, this is a really cool feeling instrument, and it sounds great to me. I love it. Check them out, Warrior. Yeah, definitely awesome. War Warrior instruments. Detail. I mean, for days. I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, hopefully, that's picking up all the contour and all the detail in the in the uh, wood. But man, it plays really well. The nice guitars. You can find them uh, used on, on reverb and. And yeah. elsewhere um but yeah check them out they're really cool i recommend them two thumbs up from me yeah cool yeah all right yeah. cool all right this one's in the books subscribe we'll see you next time take care peace